morning guys, G2P angler Jason Reese here, enjoying this gorgeous sunrise, heading out of Hillsboro Inlet on a beautiful September morning. We're going out for a little half day, do a little bit of trolling. I entered into our first tournament with this boat uh, next next weekend, so we're trying to get it dialed in this, this weekend. So going out with me today is my friend Sprinkles. His name is Sprinkles because he makes everything better. I do. We're going out to spread this morning is going to be this uh, pink tuna taco on one outrigger. Going to run a size four planer on this uh, pink and white steer bitch with a bonita strip. On the shotgun is this boom bird. You can watch my last video where we picked up a lot of black fin on it. Just got two squiddy hooks. This is to the boat on a size eight planer. We'll get this blue and white sea witch. On the other outrigger, we're gonna run this Island Marauder Flyer slash Squiddy. So we're gonna run out um, probably to about three to 400 feet to start, kind of work our way along, along the edge, bouncing between like 150 and 400. We've been hearing that there wasn't a lot of good bites the last couple of days and that every, every, the fish are all out really deep. So I'm not sure we're going to the sword grounds today. We'll see how the day goes. Um, usually we do okay here along the edge. Hopefully put some fish in the boat. It's gonna be a, it's forecast to be a low fish activity day. So we're hoping to prove that wrong today. All right, 141 feet of water and the closest to the, uh, Closest to the boat, size eight planer just got hit. Oh, I think the other one just got hit too. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, 141 feet of water um, between Hillsboro and Boca. There it is. Long. Is it gonna be a king? Yeah. Nice, dude. Um, I think I can flip it. Look out. Yeah. Sprinkles! One on, Whoa. nice and early. All right, bring yours in too, I bet it's a king. Not about the same size king. Nice dude, I thought they have the two kings. Sweet. Way to start. Yeah. 7.30. All right, right there, stop. Watch your feet sprinkles. Let out some line. Just a little bit. Yep. Okay, put that back in the rod holder. Yep. Nice dude, two kings. Yeah! Woo! Sea witches and bonita strips. All right, we're back in 173 feet of water. <laughs> we're just getting these kings unhooked. And the outriggers went off. Oh no, the shotgun's on too. Oh shit. <laughs> I shouldn't say oh no, it's a good yeah. thing. Yes, it is. Right. We either got bonita or blackfin. 173 feet of water is outside of Hillsboro Inlet. Bad news, Bonita. Oh God, damn it! You got him, Sprinkles. <laughs> and you wanted to come out here and just drink rum and hold the camera. <laughs> gotta be a big bonita or two bonita that are keeping that boon bird down that far there it is there's the bird all right just one is it just one bonita or is there one there's another one behind it that was just one Fuck, all that for just one? All that work for one what bonita. The fuck, seriously? <laughs> you little fuck nut. All right, well, not a bad start of the morning. Still early. All right, 338 feet of water, and uh, closest to the boat, number eight planter just got hit, but 
I don't see anything big on, so I've got low expectations for what this is. Whatever this fish is, is small. I can't believe this fish hit that big hook. Oh, outrigger just got hit. A small cuda, I can't believe this thing hit it. All right, sprinkles, you're on. Tamahi. Peanut, stop. All right, but at least I got a mahi on the boat. Good job, sprinkles. All right, 177 feet off of uh, Deerfield, and Sprinkles is on the uh, the short short planer. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, uh, it's a bonita. Damn, I thought that was a big blackfin for a minute. That's a big bonita. All right, bring it in closer. Whoa! Shit! Look at the size of the head. All right, 123 feet up of Fort Lauderdale. Trying to go over some of these wrecks here. And the uh, shortest to the uh, boat plane of the number eight just got hit. Skip him on in. Nope, I was wrong. It's another Bonita. Fort Lauderdale, double hookup. Good. Sprinkles is on and now I'm on too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Sprinkles is on the planer, on the uh, number four planer. The number eight planer is still out. The shotgun's on too. Three lines on. So, so far everything's been hit except for this uh, Islander or uh, Almarta Flyer Squiddy combo. A little fight here at the end. All right, you got the shotgun? You got him. A little more, a little more, stop. Right there, it's good. Okay, so. That was a triple, hook, triple, triple hookup on Bonitas. We're heading for the Guy Harvey wreck here, 141 feet of water, when all of the lines just got hit. Everything, I think, with the shotgun, everything's on. <laughs> and then now the shotgun's on. Every single pole has been hit. <laughs> Whatever happened here. They're probably all Bonitas, but let's bring them all in. Yeah, flip it in. <laughs> okay, one more. One more Bonita coming in behind you. All right, good job, Sprinkles. We went four for five on, on Bonita. Good job. Come on, bud. Way to go. You're, you're all over it. So 145 feet of water. We're just trying to get everything redeployed after getting wiped out by the Bonita and the shotgun already went off, so. Could it be another Bonita? I hope not, but based on what's been happening, it probably is. And you can see it's more than half of the spool, so it's way out there. Because I think something else, either another fish hopped on this or something else hit this fish. Dude, am I just, are you kidding me? Is it just this one Bonita? No, there's two. Oh, <laughs> That's why it got heavier. The second one joined the battle. And that first one's beefy too. Look at that. Uh, got it? I need my help. <laughs> Damn! Awesome. We are 14 fish caught on 18 bites, mostly, mostly bonitas. And this one's only been hit once, this Alamaratus flyer squiddy combo. So we're swapping it out. I go back and forth on Ballyhoo. So when I, when I, when I run them, all I like to do is I like to cut the end off, put like an Islander skirt over them, break their back, make sure they're nice and wiggly coming out of the uh, ice box, and um, run it for maybe an hour. If you don't get any bites, make sure you check it because these do wash out. So it's like one more thing. Oh, also make sure that you pull a hook off and do two hooks. You see these single hook ones? And those wahoo and kingfish, cut them short and leave the hook dangling and just, just pull the tail off. So make sure you get a double hook. Ballyhoo, I like to run mine on mono. I like to skirt them. And then you gotta check them because these won't run forever. And they wash out, you know, hour to two hours. So we'll put this in. Other four lines are still out. We're headed into deeper water. We're trying to get away from the Bonita. So we only have about 
three or four Bonita strips left. We came out with three packs. We've about gone through all of it. So we'll uh, see what we can get over the next like hour. All right, 140 feet right off of Boca Inlet. And the uh, closest planer got rocked. No, it's oh, it's another, it's another Bonita. Damn. I thought it was gonna be a big ass king. That's a big Bonita. Look at the size of that thing. Jesus. 13 size foot next to it. <laughs> All right. We ran out of Bonita strips. So I brought three packs for 15. So we are uh, 17 for 22 on, on catches to bites today. It's a lot of bites. We're out of Bonita strips. So here's an idea. A holographic piece of paper that I picked up at a uh, bait shop for a just in case at a bait situation, which we are now in. So we're going to deploy this on the uh, number four planer and uh, see if this actually works. We'll let you guys know. Uh, 210 feet, and we got three lines that just went off. So the pink tuna taco got hit. The uh, that holographic paper strip got hit, and the fake strip and the shotgun again. Please be yeah, Blackfin and not Bonita. The shotgun. No, get the shotgun. Oh my God, it's more Bonita. Dude, it doesn't matter what depth we go to all day long. Bonita, Bonita, Bonita. All right, we already put another one in the bag. This bag is ridiculous as far as you can see down in there, stacked up with fish. So the, the kings are on the bottom, so it's the only fish we're actually going to be eating. We let the little mahi go, and this is, with this fish, at least this one Sprinkles has got on, will be 20 for 24, and the question of will fish hit that holographic paper fake bonita strip, the answer is yes. It just got crushed off of the, uh, pulled right off of the uh, planer. Come on Sprinkles, it's our 20th fish, don't lose it. <laughs> I not to. Sprinkles wanted to know why his fish was so heavy. <laughs> it's because he's got two of them. So that's number 20 and 21. So 21 for 25 on catches so far today. All right, so we were bringing our 21st fish. I was up in Sprinkles. I looked over. We were barely going between three and four knots. And I was like, did the deep planter just get triggered because we were going so slow with our fish on? So came over to the rod after we got those fish in the bag. And it's definitely a fish on. Probably another big boat Nita, but coming up now over here sprinkles yep and it is another bonita yay because we haven't caught enough of them haven't caught a bonita yet so this is 22 fish on 26 bites there you go which are bonitas and that's some of their last bonita strip that was out there so now we're on yep. two holographic strips going back out into all right 200 feet of water going towards fort lauderdale <laughs> trying to hit some of these racks and we double hooked up we're going over the other wreck right now, too. <laughs> I got the shotgun. Sprinkles has got the deep planer on that holographic fake Bonita strip. Um, I think it is a Bonita. Let's see. Just flop, flop it in. Another Bonita. All right. So that was what? Number 24 in the bag, and we've got. 25 and 26 on the on the bird here. I think I see two on. So we're gonna be 26 fish on 30 bites and we pull up and go in here. And this is two again. We've been doubling up on this thing all day. Look at that. Oh. I wish they were blackfin tuna, but you know what? We're gonna do. Sprinkles, we have caught a lot of fish today. Almost 30 fish. That's catching 26 fish on 30 bites. So um, definitely a lot of catching today. Uh, I think that's probably probably the biggest highlight. Exactly. Well, no, aside from the, you know, enjoying a nice rum after your <laughs> wonderful catch. So yeah. Yeah, rum, uh, rum in really calm conditions. Water's gorgeous today. It was really flat. Um, supposed to be a low fish activity day. For us, unfortunately, most activity was Bonita. 
cut over 20 today. Too much Bonita. Too much Bonita. But um, overall, we had a pretty stellar day out there. We brought two kingfish home and way too many Bonita. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure that out here in uh, just a minute when we get back on the dock. I think for me, um, lessons learned were uh, bring more bait. So we <laughs> ran out of Bonita strips like definitely before like 11 a.m. So um, having enough bait, usually I don't go through three packs of Bonita strips, but we rifled through them today. The associate lesson learned was um, those holographic fake Bonita strips, so just pieces of like what looked like paper or like shiny paper. Um, those caught every bit as many fish as the actual yeah. Bonita strips did. So I wish I had proof that a Wahoo or a black fin tuna would hit it, but uh, I'm just starting uh, Bonita had no problem choking it down. So um, that was interesting. We got no hits on the one valley that we put in the spread. So that continues to be iffy for me on the valley here. And um, I think outside of that, everything else, we did a good job catching whatever we got in. We had a lot of uh, hookups where we caught uh, three to five fish at one time. So we did pretty good, like a well-oiled machine. We kept busy. Yeah. So um, if you guys like this video, let me know. And definitely check out these uh, other videos from G2P. And as always, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Vote for sprinkles.